Working 9 to 5. Why? Have you ever asked yourself that? Where were we when that was voted into a law or default standard working hours for so many of us? Why not 8 to 4, 10 to 6, 11 to 7? Why 5 days a week? And so on, right? But 9 to 5 is the default, are the default operating hours for so many people that it blows my mind. I get if you are um, operating in a place that's customer facing and you have to have your front door open, right, to provide help, assistance, to make a sale, I get it. If your posted hours are, you know, 9 to 5, you should be there probably a few minutes before 9, open and ready to rock and roll. But for the rest of us who provide services and you really are focused or should be focused on outcomes and performance. Does it matter if I'm in the office 9 to 5 or 10 to 6 or 11 to 7 or how about 9 to 9 on days when that is required? So I, every once in a while, butt heads with some of my friends and colleagues on this because some of them are set on everybody on my team, 50 of them, 90 of them, 190 of them, all must be in the office 9 to 5. And when you start unpacking that thought process, there's really no logic. And then everybody has to be together at the same place at the same time. I get if five or seven or ten of those 90 people are in a customer service arena where people walk in. Because you can answer the phone from anywhere. You can send an email from anywhere. You can do it from your phone, right? So think about that. And then if you are in a position of leadership, ask yourself, are you someone who mandates that everyone on your team, dozens, hundreds of people, must be in the office 9 to 5 and really review that decision whether there are valid reasons to support that. And in some cases there absolutely are. But having everyone come in from work, get stuck in traffic, go to a place, sit there 9 to 5, then they're all again coming back, get stuck in traffic, if some of them can do it from home, some of them can do it in different hours, some of them can, you know, can spread the productivity, especially if you have a global team in different time zones. Think about all those things. Don't just get hung up on working nine to five because that is what we know, that is what we've done growing up or moving up in our own careers. So working nine to five in some cases makes absolute sense but in an increasing percentage of cases, it does not. Have a wonderful day, I wish you all the best. And as always, if this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, let me and others know what do you think about working nine to five. Have a great day.